Hi friends, so today I'm going to show you my 30 by 30 list, which is basically just like 30 things I want to do before I turn 30. It's like a bucket list. And I actually wrote it down all here in my new little journal, which I will talk about later, but for now we're just going to get right into the list. So the first thing on my list is actually to spend a birthday in Paris. Um, I have been planning to spend my 21st birthday which my birthday's in January, but like not next January, it's my 20th, the one after that. I'm planning on spending that in Paris, possibly, but I don't know how bad the pandemic is gonna get, so I'm not my lipstick. Oh, do I keep it? Do I look weird? I'm gonna keep it. You know what? No black lip. I was gonna wear this with a black lipstick, but no, I'm not. The second thing is to go on a picnic day. I don't know why, but I've always wanted to do that. And I never have. So the third is to learn how to actually cook. I can cook like breakfast foods and super easy foods and like foods that have like descriptions on the box of what to do. But I want to like well, actually cook, you know, maybe make some zucchini spaghetti myself and made, I don't know. The fourth is to fully decorate my own house. I currently live with my parents, but one day I want to have my own place and fully decorate just all of it. Like in an apartment, you can like decorate it, but like if you don't like the counters, like you can't just get new counters. <laughs> so I want to just do a full renovation. Unless I like the house, and then I'll do a partial renovation. The fifth thing on my list is to get a degree. I am currently a freshman in college. I took a year off um, after high school, but I'm going for my associate's degree in early childhood education. And I'd like to, by the time I'm 30, at least have just a degree, <laughs> please. Sixth thing is to get tattoos. I don't have any tattoos. I was supposed to get a tattoo for my birthday, but um, then I realized college is super expensive. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know, maybe on my birthday I'll have a tattoo. My seventh is to get rollerblades. Technically, I did this when I was a kid. I had some kid rollerblades. But I want to get the really nice, like, pink, vintage, cute little rollerblades and, like, go to, like, a skate park, which, um, the skate park closest to me has been renovated to a golf court. Is it golf? I think it's a tennis court now. I don't know. I can't rollerblade there. So that would have to be something like when I move far away. <laughs> My aim is actually to be married. Um, I do want to be married one day, but like not soon. But I think by the time I'm 30, maybe. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since my next one is to have a kid. And I want to have like four kids. If I want, I personally want to get married before I have kids. I don't want to do it soon, but I don't want to wait too long in case I'm like too old, you know, especially when you want to have a lot of kids, but you also don't want to have them all together at once. And also like, what if you get married now, have kids now, because you feel like pressured or whatever, but then you end up changing your mind. But you have the spouse and kids already, that sucks. The tenth one is to travel to at least five different countries. I would, I would love to do this. I want to travel everywhere, please. Thank you. I think the ones, okay, this isn't on my list, but like preferably what I'm thinking now is Nigel Freeze. Because I'm obviously France. Probably England. Because just to see London, I don't even care about England, I just want to see London. Um, Japan and China because I feel like those are like, again, hot travel places you go to. And I kind of want to go to Rome, partially because I just like Rome, but also I really like the idea of one of my future kids being a Roman. <laughs> and for some reason that inspires me to want to go to Rome. Does it make sense? No. Um, the 11th is to host a dinner party. <laughs> I just want to cook and have a nice dinner party, but like, 
whoever. I don't know why, but I've always just really wanted to do this. The twelfth one is to own a house. Now, this market and this economy, I don't know if that's possible by the time I'm 30, but maybe, maybe my future spouse and I will combine finances and buy a nice house somewhere. The 13th is to either move to Chicago or Madison. I don't know if I want to live in those places, like to settle down, but I want to at least live there, you know? Like move there, but like this place actually kind of sucks, and then move somewhere else. Um, I either want to live in the Midwest or in France. I almost said Paris. I do not want to live in Paris. I like to visit Paris. I don't want to live there. But yeah, Midwest or France, kind of far away. The fourteenth thing on my list is to make homemade bread. So in high school, I had a foods class. So like I was part of student government and student government like, led activities for the students. Um, and we had like 40 kids at our school. So it wasn't like, <laughs> so like, we got, we were able to get like most of the students, almost they just didn't care. And I was in charge of foods class, but the day we made bread, I was sick. So I didn't get, I didn't get bread. And I was upset about it. I wanted some bread. And I've just never made homemade bread. And I just really wanted homemade bread so badly. <laughs> And I keep being like, Mom, let's buy some yeast and make bread. And she's like, just make it without the yeast. No. I'm making homemade bread with the yeast before I'm 30. Fifteenth is have my own car. I love the idea of having a car and looking like this and decorating it to look like this. Um, I don't know anything about cars. So if the car I just showed is like really bad and judging or it's like super expensive and you're like, why are you buying a mediocre car that's so expensive? Looks like I just like the style. I don't. I don't know. I'm not gonna look into it. I'm actually gonna buy a car. Sixteen is adopt two guinea pigs. Um, preferably when I have my own house, but obviously it's not a good rule. I want to have two guinea pigs. They are Clementine and Faye, and they'll be so cute. I used to have a guinea pig named Ariel. I actually have some videos with her on here, and I had her all through my teenagehood, and I loved her. And I don't want to get her now because I'm not sure what's happening with like my living situation because COVID really messed everything up. I mean, clearly this is my, the house I grew up in and not like my apartment or dorm or anything. So I don't know about that, but I don't want to get guinea pigs and then not be able to find any apartments that allow me and then have to like give them away or keep them with my family. I don't want them. 17th is to take my sister to Europe. Um, this would probably be if I can go to Paris for my 21st birthday, I would bring my sister with me so I'm not alone. <laughs> but I don't want to travel alone. And I can't really like pay for like a lot of people. So like just me and my sister would be great. Like I don't want to take a whole friend group. <laughs> Bank account would cry. And I'm not gonna ask them to pay for it for my birthday, so I don't know. 18th is see Dodie live. I did actually order tickets a while ago to see her live at the rave in February, but with COVID, sometimes her um, live performances, shows, I don't know, get canceled. Not often, but I've seen it happen. So let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> and if it does get canceled, I still have plenty of time until I'm 30 to see her live. Unless she quits like that. Nineteenth is to attend a music festival. Um, you know, I considered being twenty-five before twenty-five. I feel like with the pandemic and everything, a lot of this <laughs> used to like ten years and like a month. I'm getting kind of old instead of five, because like I'm not gonna go to a music festival now. I'll get COVID and die. Like, I mean, I'm vaccinated, but like, that doesn't mean I won't get COVID and die. So, um, 20th is to learn French. I've been learning French on and off since I was 15. And for some reason, I still don't really know how to speak French. If you need someone to write you a letter or like a story in French, I've got you. Just don't ask me to speak it up. 21 is to learn how to properly swim. I swim kind of like a dog that's drowning and 
this is kind of very simple. I live on too old. And that how this one. So one of these summers before I turn 30, I've got to do something. 22nd is to go to a pumpkin patch. Um, as a kid, we always just went to like McDonald's and in the parking lot, they had like pumpkins you could buy. But like, I want to go to an actual pumpkin patch and spend all my money on pumpkins. Maybe take some photos, I don't know. 23 is to have different hair colors, not all at once. Um, so far I've had purple, pink, like a sunset red orange thing, black with like purple and pink in it, but so black and blonde and, and like a naturally ginger, but I'm not going to count that. So I'm going to have five other colors. I'm not sure what those five could be. I'm running out of colors, like green, blue, yellow. Did I count red? I've had red. Like bright, like oh, bright red. And I can't really do more to kind of take that already. I, I think I've run out of colors. Maybe like two different shades. <laughs> or maybe like, I don't know, like light pastel blue and like dark blue. <laughs> it's two different colors, maybe, because otherwise I just can't. Another one is to read 500 books in parentheses like with Goodreads. The Goodreads, you can see how many books you've read. Um, it's possible that by the time I'm 30, Goodreads will be completely shut down. So let's, let's hope that's not the case because I don't keep track of what I read at the beginning of the day. Like a reading journal, I never keep up with. So I like 50 books a year starting next year. I could do that. The 25th is to go on a corn maze. I think I've technically done this as a small child, but I'd like to go properly as an adult with like a friend, a lover, <laughs> my sister, someone. I probably won't go by myself, but I mean, maybe. 26 is a properly celebrated New Year's. Once I celebrated at my grandma's. Other than that, I always celebrate at home alone. <laughs> so I want to actually properly celebrate this year. I don't know, maybe. maybe I'll go somewhere by myself. <laughs> maybe I could drag my sister somewhere. I can't go to like a bar. I'll be 19. My sister will be 16. I don't know. I'll look for some New Year's Eve events and like, Kiki, come here. We're coming here. 27 is watch the Lions in the Super Bowl. If you don't know anything about American football, the Lions, the Detroit Lions are my favorites. I love them. But they've never been to the Super Bowl. And they're the only team that has it. So before I'm 30, I can't really control this, but they better go to the Super Bowl. And I don't care where they are playing, I will go there. I want to watch them in real life because I probably will never be able to again. Uh, isn't that expensive to attend the Super Bowl? My life savings <laughs> will help me go there. 28 is to go on a road trip. I would love to do this so much. Maybe one summer. Not maybe this summer actually. I don't know. Although I kind of want to go like in like a cool van or something like a big car you know that way i'm not squished in there with whoever i'm going with but i mean oh well 29 is to take myself on a date i've like gone places by myself and done nice things for myself i want to go on a nice date like an all-day trip <laughs> with just me just have fun I could do all these things that are around me, you know? I could maybe make it a YouTube video, or maybe not, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know. The last one is to be a teacher. Um, remember when I said I was getting an associate's degree in early child education? Because <laughs> I want to be a teacher. Um, the careers that I've been really interested in have been neuroscience, just 
anything on your side, especially in your own psychology, um, teaching and being a children's therapist. And out of all of them, I decided I wanted to do teaching because it's the one I'm the most excited about. All the homework, well, I would say all the homework is actually fun. Like, it, like my neuroscience and psychology homework in high school is fun too, but you know, um, I just really love it. And also, I'll have a student that. <laughs> I mean, I'll still have to end up no matter what, it, but slightly less, you know, it takes, it's still hard to become a teacher. You still have a lot to do, but like slightly less. Um, but also, if I decide I want to go into becoming a children's therapist down the line, I could do that. I could go back to school and like my early childhood education associate's degree wouldn't be like that weird. Like it would still connect to everything, you know, so when I show my qualifications, they're like, oh, bitch, you did all this education and stuff for psychology and therapy and also, like, this random degree that's, like, what's a weird degree? This business and marketing degree, I don't know, maybe that doesn't have anything to do with it. Anyway, yeah, let's look at the giraffe. First, let's look at my outfit. Look, I did, like... <laughs> I'm wearing like proper pants. I mean, these shorts are huge. Like pants and tights, and you can't even see. That was sad. But now let's look at the journal. We have this. This is this written the stars. My last journal has been brutally murdered. <laughs> May she rest in peace. I actually just pulled her up. <laughs> May she rest in peace. I have this written in 2021. Hey, is that too close? That's too close. What if I just left this in? <laughs> so if you're interested, um, I don't really have anything, but like I have my name. Now you can come stalk me. I'll have Polaroids holidays, so like Christmas. Oh, Thanksgiving. That's like next week when I'm filming this and on uh, New Year's Eve uh, current events which I'll just have like CNN article headlines and, like the date the goals which will be like like it's November and this is only for 2021 so it'll be like don't go broke haha <laughs> the index a wish list, a moon tracker, a passwords, which I'm glad I didn't throw that out before this video. And then 3430. Um the list itself is the same. I have photo of Paris. I have a little wedding arch. It's actually from my dream wedding for this boy, which maybe I could look into that for a video. That'd be so much fun. Um, a picnic. A little car sticker. My friend actually bought me stickers for I think my 16th birthday. Like a pack of stickers and they're so cute. I use them all the time. This thing says me time. A road trip sticker. Some homemade bread that I found on Pinterest. A dollar because a lot of the stuff I want me money for. So it just made sense. Very keep up your bad. So actually a golden retriever, which I kinda want a golden retriever when I'm older. And I'm scared of dogs, so that's funny. Someone's <laughs> the cup Keurig pumpkin Halloween set coffee thing and it's like some Halloween mug set thing. Because um I want to decorate my house and I would love something like that. I just found Pinterest on who's it is. I stole it and put it in here. I actually have other photos that I didn't find room for, but we'll be able to like put them in somewhere else without being two years. So I'll find them. I have Dodie staying live somewhere, a bunch of books, and a van, like someone's on a road trip. 
So it's the end of the video and I have nothing else to talk about, but I don't want to stop recording because I like it. Here is this material. I know you're watching. Unless my channel's been taken down because I like did something terrible, I guess. Or YouTube imploded. This is the book I'm currently reading, The Secret Agent by Joseph Conrad. Almost done. Been reading forever. Lost it for a while in the back of my closet, but found it again. Spoiler alert, she murdered her husband, and that's not the main plot. Anyways, yeah, it's been a ride. Um, if you have not read it, <laughs> and you just heard what I said, you must be very kidding. But yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta go take some thumbnail pictures. Choke on my saliva. Take some thumbnail pictures, take some Instagram photos outside because it's snowing, even though it's only November 14th. Then shower because I'm kind of sweaty. Goodbye. <laughs>